and welcome to a how-to video from Hike Vision. I'm Dan Hawkins and I look after the product pre-sales here at Hike. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up access control on Hike Central. So in this video I'm going to show you the basic setup configuration for access control on Hike Central management software for people who haven't used Hike Central yet. Then I'm going to walk you through some of the more advanced features and applications that some existing Hike Central users might not be aware of and which could come in handy. Select the wizard menu in the web interface, select access control and then add, add access control device. On the top left click the add button. Here you can check out basic information like the protocol for the device device address, username, password, that sort of information. Click add and the device will be added to the system. Alternatively, if you see the device in the list, select the device from the list and then add that user and password information and the system will be good to go. Adding a person to the Hike Central database is quite simple. In this menu we can add people to the system either by importing data from the device or from an Excel file or by adding them through the Hike Central options. In this instance we will add them from the add person button here in the top left hand corner. Simply click this and fill in the usual information first name, surname, gender information. We can then upload an identification uh, either a picture or some sort of biometric scan we hit the add button, we can enter information like fingerprint from a biometric reader or card information from an enrollment device. We'll need to set which enrollment device that we'll be getting the information from. If we want to use a fingerprint reader we'd have to select which enrollment device we'll be taking that fingerprint from or any other credentials like card or other biometrics. Save that information and back on the other in uh, information we need to add such as email address, phone number or any other details. So to assign access levels and assign those access levels to people. To do this open the helpful wizard again and select the add access level under the access level management bit. Once the page loads, go into add. Here you can access or create new access levels, name your access level, add a description and define which access points or device resources you want it to apply to. You can select these by checking the box of the device in the list, highlight the ones you want and then add to the selected list. You can select multiple devices at once. Below this is the schedule. Either use a predefined one or create a new. Similar to all our other schedules in our cameras and our MBRs, just drag and drop your selected dates. Select the add button to finalize. With your new access level created, select Assign by Access Level from the feature tree on the left. Find your required access level and then hit the Assign button on the top right of the screen. You'll get presented with the list of users. Select either all users or individual ones and then hit Add to System. This will ask you or confer, get you to confirm whether to apply the changes now or whether to apply the changes later 
such as out of hours, for example. So, troubleshooting. With troubleshooting apart from the Vita tree, we can see if there are any problems with the system, see if there are any problems with any of the users attached to those access control devices. We can do a fuzzy search on a name, select that person, and then check. We can see that it hasn't been applied correctly, but we can see that the face recognition has been applied to these particular turnstiles and access control points with card status and facial recognition. If anybody's missing we can see and get a quick clear look at who's missing and where they're missing from. So we can check card status, biometric status, face recognition status, they can all be checked to make sure that detail has been uploaded correctly to all the devices and the access control part of Hike Central. We can also check the access points individually. So those particular access points which control the gates with doors we can check to see people that have been uploaded to those particular devices that have access and those that haven't or we can check for those that haven't those inconsistencies or errors can then be rectified and the data reapplied to the system You can set up a customised permission free access schedule or a forbidden schedule as well as a customised reader mode. For example in a school scenario the gate should be set to free access during break times this is so the students can pass through freely and when out of the free schedule no one can access without presenting credentials. We can do these and see these templates within the Add Free Access and Access Forbidden Rule page under the Hike Central configuration. This is in the Free Access and Access Control section. We can either set out of hours templates or use a predefined template, or we can define our own schedule, similar to as we do on MVRs or cameras for events or Hike Central for events. Select the dates and times that you want the out of hours to go through or the days and times that you want the hours to go through and then hit the add button. Set the name, set the access points you want it to re refer to and then hit add. And then you can see the temperature module has got a free access schedule set up for the template uh, and we've got a forbidden schedule set so uh, again as we said break times you can see through it. And there we can see how you would access those particular devices at those particular times, either via card or by card reader uh, or by biometric or by facial recognition.
You can even check via which device has those particular uh, credentials assigned. Now we've got that template in place, we can check our card reader. So this one has a card or face, uh, so it's dual factor authentication. And we can also do a custom version of that. And we can set the access mode needs to be either card or face, and we can set that to custom time period template that we just created. So in this instance, it's face and card, so it's dual authentication, dual uh, authentication here. And again, card reader number two, we'll set this one to card or face. So either with your face recognition or with a card, uh, we've still got that weekend template and we save those details. So here you can create a group of certain doors for use during emergencies. This is called an emergency operation group. Here on Hike Central, it allows you to remotely unlock all the emergency exits with one simple click. You can understand how powerful that would be under the right circumstances. So under the tab, add emergency operation group, name the type of emergency that you want to create for, and then add the devices to that list. Save them, uh, and in the menu before you can see where those devices are being added to that particular uh, emergency door list. So real-time monitoring, we can see that those doors are open and closed, which doors are open, which doors are closed, which ones are, are locked. And then we can select the devices that we want to remain unlocked in that particular emergency. So if we click remain unlocked, we can then select test or emergency doors. Now remember earlier on that we defined those particular doors such as R&D to those uh, emergency door locks. They will remain unlocked. Entry and exit counting group. You can set up an entry and exit counting group for roll call use. In the event of emergency evacuation, this would provide you with a roll call list on Hike Central. This indicates who is still in the building. So on the feature tree, we've got entry and exit counting group. Set the name of that group, and then add the devices that you want to detect uh, the counting for the people. We've set our darkroom door as one of these uh, readers, and it's the card reader that you'll need to check in with as you go past. Save those details and then apply in the list. Here we can see darkroom door and the R&D lab saved on there as well. Into the access control retrieval section and we've got entry and exit counting. So as we can see, nobody's been in and out of there in the last 24 hours. And if we check on the people stayed, we can see who is still in there at that particular time. The employee stayed. So a real quick way of being able to see who is still in at that time. I hope you found this brief how-to video for Hike Central useful. Don't forget to visit our website as shown below at hikevision.com UK. If you want more information, including additional how-to videos, search Hike Vision UK Technical Support on YouTube, and you'll find an ever-expanding library of short guides to choose from. Bye for now.